Hello guys, my name is Kylie Bologna. Welcome if you are new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you guys have been here before, you know that I love to be in my car. I love to drive. And today, you know, I feel like I just need a little reset. So we're just going on a nowhere drive, which is sometimes my favorite thing in the world. Um, it's like a nice rainy day. It's also supposed to snow tonight. But um, it's just nice and rainy and I figured it's a perfect day to just take a little chit chat with you guys and just drive around. I don't really have a main goal for where we're going. Um, I really wanna go to Stewart's and get some ice cream today. But um, for the most part, we are just driving around. I'm just kind of in this place where there's a lot of changes going on in my life. And I don't really have a great way to cope with that. So instead I'd rather just spend time A, with myself and B, with you guys because that is always just like the most rewarding part of this is just getting to hang out with you guys. <sighs> I've just been like going, 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 going. And it's kind of exhausting, but that is okay because April 14th is Six Flags. Six Flags is actually opening early this year. Six Flags is opening on April 7th, but on April 14th, me and my sister are going. So that will be the first day of a Six Flags vlog, which I'm so excited. If you guys have been here before, you guys know how much I truly enjoy Six Flags. For those of you who don't know, I am a big amusement park junkie. It is on my bucket list to go to every Six Flags in the US. I would love to do like a little series where we do that. That would be really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge amusement park person. I love like the adrenaline rush of a roller coaster. And I was born and raised going to Six Flags New England, which is my home park. It's about an hour and a half from me. So it's the closest park I have. And it just means the world to me to like be able to travel and explore and just like do little things like that just means the world. I've just been going through like kind of like not like a midlife crisis because I did only just turn 21 but I've just been kind of going through it like my day job has been so chaotic lately there's been like medical emergency after like a medical emergency just going on at my job and it's just a lot of stress but my sister had me work at the restaurant she works at last week for Easter brunch and for those of you who don't know, I went to culinary school. That's like kind of what I wanted to do with my life. From the time I was 10, I wanted to be a baker. And I've been out of the restaurant industry for a very long time because it's just something I realized isn't like, it's not something I totally want to do anymore. And it just made me feel really good to work in like a fast paced, organized restaurant environment. It made me feel really good. And honestly, uh, that gives me a lot of pride. And it just makes me feel really great. And like I was saying in my last video, it's like, I'm just kind of going through this period of change where I'm like, what do I really want in my life? And what's going to bring me like true happiness? Like that's kind of where I'm at right now. I also want to like slow down and take a moment and just be like, hey, like, I haven't posted a podcast episode in probably two or three weeks, and I just, like, need time right now, which makes me feel really bad because I truly enjoy and truly love posting podcast content. I really love it, but I really need to sit down and be like, what do I want this to look like? Because I feel like right now it's a little all over the place, and that's not great. I don't love that. So... I'm just kind of taking a moment to like reel everything in and be like, what do I really want? And I think it's really important to like slow down sometimes because I think right now slow, consistent movement is going to be the most impactful. And like, I want you guys to enjoy the content I'm making, whether it be YouTube, podcasting, Instagram, all of the above. I just really love it. And it's like everyone talks about my TikTok a lot. Like I have tons of friends that are like, do you make money off TikTok? You post on TikTok so often. I always see you on TikTok. 
and it's like I feel like I don't ever post on TikTok like I really don't and that's something I would like to more I have low-key a hatred of short form content it's just not my favorite but I do see the value in it thank you it just let us know there was a cop up ahead but I do see the value in it and I think that's really important is to just see the value in things it was not a cop it was a, a tree that was falling down it's been like really windy and rainy the last couple days so I think this weather is just kicking butt right now but you know what they say April showers bring May flowers and that's honestly like one of my favorites because April is always just so rainy and then May is usually always pretty nice which is just awesome I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see it because of the way my camera is set up oh there is a truck with a falling down tree right there so I'm gonna go this way which I've never done before but I was gonna say that there's like a park that's over there that used to be like um, a motorhome place like for all the people who like it was kind of like an RV spot like a trailer park but it wasn't they were kind of like those trailer park style houses my great-grandma used to live over there and then that whole park flooded and everybody who lived there like lost everything and I think it's really cool to like just take a second and be like hey this is something I know about <sighs> it's so interesting how things just change over time and it's not always a bad thing it's just change happens and that's okay and that's something like I'm like really starting to hone in on that it's okay that things change and especially as somebody who literally just turned 21 it's just so crazy how everything changes we're in a really pretty area right now this is Williamstown so I believe this is all part of the college the college campus which is Williams College the Clark is also down here which is like a contemporary art museum and then there's Mass Mocha which is like a couple minutes away which is like a modern art museum it's all really cool Williams kids are kind of weird they're all just like either rich kids or like really smart kids it's just kind of the demographic up here so I'm in a roundabout where I could choose wherever I want so I could go to like Pittsfield which like you guys have seen a hundred times but I think I'm gonna go towards Vermont right now not that like I need anything but that is the direction of Stewart's I just don't know really how to get there but I'm just kind of on an adventure and that's my favorite I love to drive with a kind of destination I love to drive with a kind of destination and really knowing like just going is my favorite I also really like Vermont as a state like it's just kind of chill I don't really know what it's like to live there like going and visiting Vermont is like a chill state that's the thing about where I live in Mass is like I live so close to everything else like this I'm almost in Vermont and Vermont is like probably 20 minutes away and I am like 30 minutes away from New York it's like great I live in such a nice area we're just on an adventure honestly it's my favorite to just go like I love to just like escape Also, whenever I get lost, I love to challenge myself by just looking at the map of my GPS and for like the roundabout way to get home without like setting the GPS. That's like a favorite of mine. Cause then it just like kind of teaches you how to like figure it out. And I think that's like really important. Do I love living in a way where I could just like set a location to my phone and figure out how to get there? Absolutely. I think that's such an amazing thing that like I get to have and like most of us get to have but it also like then if we ever get lost we're kind of screwed 
Like, what if you get lost in a place with no service? Then you're literally screwed. Remember that vine that was like road work ahead? I sure hope it does. Do you guys remember Vine? Vine used to be like it when I was growing up. And then it was Musical.ly and now it's TikTok. It's just so interesting how over time things just change. And it's the best. Change is a really good thing. That guy's trash can said got mud. That was funny. Yep, we're already in Vermont. Awesome. There's that Stewart. So if I wanted to come back the same way, I could. There's a little Stewart's ice cream shop right there. Stewart's is like the best gas station. It's one of the best gas stations. Stewart's is really nice because it's like New York local and they do like homemade ice cream and all that stuff and it's so good. If you're in Jersey, Wawa is amazing. They do like, their strawberry milk is so good. And I know that's such like a weird niche thing, but it's just so good. I love it. The mountains here are always the prettiest too. Like we're just given the best views and I'm so grateful for that. Also mountains are what like prevents tornadoes and stuff. So like we don't really get a lot of them. We have like some small ones, but it's never like crazy. like an abandoned thing over there I really like abandoned things I have a friend who is like really into abandoned places I enjoy like looking at abandoned places it kind of scares me to like go to abandoned places not gonna lie if I go straight I'm gonna be heading towards Bennington so I think I'm gonna continue straight for now not like I have anywhere to really go but it's just the vibes we're vibing with. I really like like uh, route driving, like instead of going on like the Mass Pike or something, just taking like these back routes are always really fun. I took a little pause and was listening to some music. We are now in Bennington. So this is, I believe like Main Street in Bennington. Bennington is kind of similar to Northampton where it's pretty walkable place called Your Belly's Deli. That's really cool. I like fun names. I think places that are called really fun names are really creative. There's the Goodwill. I think we're gonna stop. I think we're gonna stop as I pull in immediately. I've been to this Goodwill once before and I found some really cool stuff. So we're gonna go in and I'll see if I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay guys, we just came out of Goodwill. I didn't find anything I really needed. They had a lot of cool stuff. That one really always does in Vermont. They pretty much always have a bunch of cool stuff. But uh, I think I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna try to hit that Stewart's on the way back. I think that would be really fun. Oh, this is really cool because I didn't realize Bennington was just a straight shot away. Like I didn't take really any turns or anything. Um, I'm gonna listen to music and I will see you guys at Stewart's. Okay guys, we just got back from inside the Stewart's. Um, they were really busy, so I did just get like a half gallon of ice cream. This is cotton candy, it's my favorite. So good, they're like known for their milk. Like I think it's like produced in like a good way or something. And then I also got strawberry milk because I'm just such a sucker. Oh, this is so good. I love you guys. I am going to drive home. I think we're going to end this here. I hope you guys enjoy just taking a nice little drive with me. And I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Because 50% of you guys are not. I love you guys. And I will see you all next week. Bye.